Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and a question I ask myself every day, are gamers the best virgins imaginable? As a virgin myself and a gamer, I feel like the answer to that is an absolute yes. Now ladies and gentlemen, Discord is going beyond gaming, alright? They're not selling their souls to Microsoft, maybe not even completely PlayStation, no one indeed. Discord wants to be more than just a gamer platform. And so in that, they're restructuring and redoing their logo. Now I wanted to laugh at this because I feel like 99% of us are just laughing at all this. There's genuinely somebody that's upset out there and uh, to that one person well you better clean up that neckbeard nest son they're coming for you next ladies and gentlemen let's sit down relax and look at the new discord logo now here we've got i'm gonna do a little game what is the old one and the new one <laughs> if you've answered below as the as the old one you're wrong because the old one would be this stunning discord logo it's got a bit of cuts going on i didn't know the mascot for discord was called clyde but Clyde, you know, Clyde looks a little defined. He's got like little tiny ears on the top, cute little chin, beautiful little eyes. This is Discord now. It's a little more blue. All right. Uh, of course, the font pack failed to install. So now you got a sort of discount looking Discord font for sure. That is probably the only egregious issue I have. Now, a lot of people have told me that Clyde is ruined. Now, if you look at Clyde, Clyde's ears aren't exactly split anymore. Now, if this genuinely hurts you to the point where you have to write a stern letter to Discord, there's a lot of grass out there, okay? You should consider touching it. Now, that being said, that's all I really had to say about Discord's logo. It is what it is. It's cute. Now, Discord has some problems, of course. You know, there are articles out that say the dark side of Discord, your teen's favorite chat app. Its private gaming communities can be like unsupervised playgrounds full of racist memes, vulgar Vulgar talk and bullying. I think you're just confusing gamers at this point, aren't you? Now, there have been plenty of people who have asked for Discord to, you know, a lot of the community came with absolute suggestions of their own, okay? For one, Justin Wang, I love you, my man, came up with an amazing font selection, like, that would be better, okay? He's got a little tentacle action going around. We all know what Discord's about. Uh, I like this one, all right, because we all know there's a, a disproportionate amount of Coomers on Discord, so to match the color schemes is absolutely brilliant. Of course, you also have this one which really channels graphic design as my fucking passion and while i love the 1990s uh web art style design i'm gonna have to pass on that chief and then you've also got right to the point straight up i mean this person's not even hiding it you did it right you absolutely did it right that's what i see on discord 90 percent of the time straight up furry hentai which i'm okay with i don't really care you know if you send me so if you send me some squirrel tits that's cool babe i like i like this one a lot personally the little web dings all right, I feel like Discord could be at an advantage if they spoke in hieroglyphics. Imagine a place where you can belong to a school club, a gaming group, or a worldwide art community. Oh, have you seen 99% of your Discord servers Discord? They're not as wholesome as you think. Now, a lot of people have blamed Discord uh, with their minimalistic logo. And while you have your pitchforks up in arms, to understand, companies have done this throughout history, right? For instance, this is Apple. Now, this is Apple's logo history, so I'm going to go over this briefly with you, like a, like a beautiful art page if you will this is 1976 ladies and gentlemen how that was ever related to apple i have no idea i think newton was about to get whipped with one maybe they thought that was an inspiration right if newton can take a beating of overpriced hardware so can our fans 1997 1977 sorry they went with the rainbow design which i still wish they kept apple this was like peak performance all right and then 1998 they went full black.com and gave us this design which is great Great. And then 2001, they went with a little bit of the Sheen and Boss style too. 2007, the artist was like, how do I make a quick six figures? Just slash a line through it. Done. There you go. In 2017, they decided to go black.com again, but grayscale. So that's the history of the Apple logo. Honestly, you want to blame Discord. Apple's the one with the, with the logo issues. Now here's Microsoft Windows. All right, and what you're seeing at the very first glance is 1.0 Windows. This is, th this was Windows at one point. I shit you not. I have a video next week of me installing every version of Windows. I'm going to upgrade from this crap, crap fest 
to this crap fest. Now, of course, Windows's logo got pretty good around 95. I personally preferred Vista. I know people hate Vista, but give it a chance, kiddos, because at least it's not Windows 8. And for some reason, Microsoft is actually fat shaming Windows 8 too. What are you trying to thin up the lines? It's a crappy logo. What happened to the original color scheme, Microsoft? Why are we looking at bargain bin Windows? That's because Windows 10 is fucking bargain bin anyways, but that's a whole different video, am I right? What really separates the true design giga chad in the industry is Linux, okay? Because it's only really had one logo, and that's good old Tux, all right? Tux is an amazing logo. It's a cute little penguin. It never changed. And there's plenty of Rule 34 of this guy, and they never bothered to redesign it at all. And I love this design. It's absolutely perfect. How could you hate Tux? That's what makes this OS that great. Now, I think my personal favorite is Firefox, because for some reason in 2004, they actually had a fucking Firefox, okay? It looked, it looked beautiful. 2009, all right, a little bit more defined, I like it. 2013, kind of losing me, champ, or losing that detail. 2017, they said, fuck the globe. All right, but at least it kind of looks like a fox. 2019, bro, we straight up just stopped giving a <laughs> shit. So yeah, I'm not going to blame Discord at all, all right? Most logos do this. And to be fair with you, if Discord's change is a slight bluer tinge and Clyde is a little less detailed, a little, the only egregious issue I have is the font. If that's the only change, then congratulations, Discord. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Now, on another note, I honestly miss the days of these UIs that were never minimalistic. You know what I hate the most about PlayStation 5? I hate the UI. I think it's just too, like, I think it's too clean. What happened to the original? What happened to UIs and systems that look like this? What happened to flying into the void of the depths to play my video games, all right? If I want to play Sly Cooper, I want to play it like that. What happened to desktop designs like this where I could turn my entire computer into a sphere globe okay the flat earth is most hated enemy what happened to this design ladies and gentlemen that's all i really had to add on discord i'm glad that discord is actually growing and as a gamer tool there is no better time for discord to truly shine in the, in, in in the world of in in the world of gaming all right and beyond so ladies and gentlemen congratulations discord good job for securing your stuff so far and i hope to see its growth no matter what and for anybody out there that's losing sleep over clyde there's a field of grass outside my house you should consider touching it that's all i'm gonna leave it at so ladies and gentlemen that being said if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe dislike it if you dislike it i have a video coming out on sunday about minecraft's uh, arc a minecraft arg and next week your boy is installing every copy of mainline windows none of that windows longhorn shit mainline so watch out for that ladies and gentlemen this is me mudahar and uh yeah i'm out